tea. What's that? You boil it. So you oh can yeah, eat. that yeah. that's um, it changed color when yeah. you put citrus. Yeah. There you go. Let me pick up another bag. Yeah, okay, that's Thank you, and this is me. For my first, I'm gonna boil them. And then let's get ginger. Oh, that that's the, that's the flower. That's the flower. Well, I don't want this one. Yeah. Where do you shop at, Kara? Please don't say commissary. Sometimes no. I do. Oh. Sometimes <laughs> I do. I shop at the commissary. Sometimes I don't go over there. Hey guys, so you saw me um, de-seed the um, hibiscus flower and this is what it looks like. This is what it look, looks like with the seed out and that's all of the seed. And I just wanted to do a really quick video of just showing you how to make sorrel. I made a tea that was like that and this is just the from the actual plant I'm gonna make a cold brew type and um, so I'm just gonna have the roselle plant and ginger let me get my ginger and this is what it looks like this is the ginger and I'm gonna flatten it let it boil and then let it sit overnight so it can absorb all the flavors and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like afterwards. So that is my whole process. And this is, again, super easy. You can get the Roselle from um, like an international um, uh, market. And because that's where I got it here in Japan. I got it from the market here. It was in, inside of a bag and it was made into a plant just like you guys saw. And the ginger as well. And then you could put any type of sweetener, honey, cane sugar, agave, or you could just leave it plain and then sweeten it as you drink it. But I'm gonna sweeten it so that my whole family, if they're interested in drinking it, they can drink it. If not, it will be for me. And so I wore gloves because as you can see, you can see just a little bit of the tint from the flower and um, I just didn't want that on my hands. So that is optional, you can do it bare bare hand without any gloves but I just prefer to wear gloves so um, that's pretty much it I am boiling it right now if you can see it I am boiling the water and I'm about to put the flour and the ginger inside okay Done. It is the next day and I am finished with my um, sorrel drink and I didn't add any like uh, sugar or anything. I actually added uh, stevia and raw and I feel like I need to add some more 
and this uh, lemon just to kind of give it something new I added this it's like lemon flavor and it's actually pretty good so that is it I got two containers of these and I'm so excited I tried so thank you guys so much for watching and coming along with me and I'm gonna put a, a recipe down in the, in the description box if you are interested in learning how to make tea and I was gonna make jam but I'm no I'm, I'm just not gonna do it this time okay all right guys take care thank you so much for watching Bye.